Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube world? It's your boy, B Music, and we're back in the music chamber. Today, as you can see, I have my vinyl collection out. Um, it's not a lot, but I feel pretty proud of what I have so far. I have different types of records in there, from reggae to rock, of course, rap, um, blues, and um, I'm looking forward to making this collection grow. Today, what I'm gonna be doing is, I'm gonna be going through, through the, uh, some of the collection and adding sleeves to them and talk a little bit about what the record means to me, what the album means to me, and show y'all the insides of it and, and stuff like that, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, stay tuned. Yeah. Now where you at, yo? Uh, uh. Now where you at, yo? Now where you at, yo? Locked in the music chamber on the band saying um, we're gonna be going through these records and adding sleeves to them and um, talk a little bit about what they mean to me what the album means to me showing y'all the insides and stuff like that while we're putting sleeves on the records I do want to have one of them playing and um, my pick for today was uh, I'm gonna go with Linkin Park the first album we're gonna have this one playing as we go through the records and add sleeves to them so let's do this Hybrid Theory, this is the back of it, first classic album, and it might be too low, this is the inside, I didn't have this one in the CD, but I did have the uh, Meteora, um, man, Linkin Park, one of my favorite bands, I was so close to go seeing them perform back in 2017. Uh, they were supposed to be in Houston, I believe, in November or December, but it was towards the end of the year. But as everybody uh, already knows, Chester ended up passing away tragically, and uh, I just I lost that opportunity. So yeah, it sucks that I was really, really close to to seeing them, and then Chester ended up passing away. But uh, yeah, you know, Lincoln Park. Rest in peace, Chester. Another really badass album from Lincoln Park was the the collab that they did with Jay Z. That the way they mix rap and rock, man, that was it was really really badass to see. Uh, the footage from the actual show and the recording of the album, because they had to re-record a few of the uh, Jay Z's verses, just because the older stuff wasn't really, I guess, in the tempo. It wasn't on point with with, uh, with some of Linkin Park stuff, so they had to redo a few verses. And the footage is on YouTube, man. I watched that over and over uh, as well. And uh, that album was actually given to me for one of my birthdays. One of my cousins, shout out to him, <clears throat> he had uh, gave it to me as a as a birthday present because he knew how much I, I jammed Linkin Park and of course Jay Z. You know what I mean? And um, that that album with Linkin Park and Jay Z is really really badass too. You guys need to check it out. So yeah, next up we have The Legend of Bob Marley. This is the back of it. So yeah, man, Bob Marley, legendary artist. You know, to this day, I feel like, I don't know, there's a lot of reggae artists that could um, meet up to, to his standards, meet up to his level. Uh, Bob Marley, Ziggy Marley, Damien Marley. As some people may know, uh, Damien Marley had a, uh, has an album with Nas called Distant Relatives. And if you haven't yet, you need to check it out. It's really, really dope. It's badass. And they get really political, really social on that album because of the situation that was going, that was happening out there at the, at the time. But Man, you know, the, the, that's the, the family tree from Bob Marley is just, it's really, really dope, man. One of my favorite songs from this album is uh, Buffalo Soldier. Buffalo Soldier, Exodus. It's uh, 
two of my favorite. What's your favorite Bob Marley song? One of my favorite, 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 favorite Nirvana albums, The Unplugged in New York. The uh, actual footage from this album, I, I watch it over and over and over again. You can catch me posting it, reposting it on, on Facebook and all kinds of stuff, man. I really, really love this album. Uh, this is the back of it. It came with its own, with its own sleeve. So I think I want to leave it on. I want to leave it like that. But I am going to show y'all the picture that it came with. It's just quick shots of the concert. Because <laughs> of the back of it. And uh, my favorite band in that era, the grunge era was just really, really crazy. Um, rest in peace, Kurt Cobain, man. Another legend gone way too soon. It's one of my favorite songs from the album. Chester's voice was crazy, crazy. Here we have another all-time, all-time favorite, not just by me, but worldwide, the motherfucking GOAT, Tupac, All Eyes On Me, this is the back, this is the inside, they say he damn near recorded the whole album within a week, maybe two weeks. I've been having this album for a while, so you can kind of tell the cracked edges. My edges are peeling off already. That's why we're adding sleeves to this damn thing, man. I don't want my shit to mess up. And I know it says two discs or whatever, but when you have the vinyl, it comes with four records. One, two, I mean, there's another two right here. It has book one, book two. One of my biggest influences. This album, I can't say how many nights I done crashed out to this album. I done just jammed it for hours and hours and hours. And it's one of the albums that I really study that, that made me a fan of Pac. Is a uh, album where I feel he really let it all out. I feel like I done read everything about him, watched every interview, every documentary. Um, that's why to me, I feel like I know everything about Pac so much that the movie to me wasn't really up to the standards of something like him, you know? It, it fell short in a lot of things. To me, they just reenacted a bunch of interviews that he had there was nothing really new they didn't, it didn't talk about nothing new it didn't show nothing new so i was kind of disappointed with the movie uh the best actor i feel the the one that looked the most like Pac, but the movie in general wasn't wasn't the best i got into a few things that he read because of him uh as far as books i decided to to read uh machiavelli's the prince the real machiavelli uh, which was a book that he read in prison and if you read that book and know Pac, if you're a big fan, you will understand why he came out the way he did, talking and acting the way he was when he came out. So he was really, really Machiavellian, man, you know what I'm saying? And uh, he felt like he had to be, I guess. You know, so much craziness going on at the time, but Tupac, All Eyes On Me, one of my all-time favorites, man. Oh, you know what? <coughs> I think we're gonna pull some some pot real quick. What's your favorite Pac song? <clears throat> How has Pac influenced your life? I know he's influenced mine in a big, big way. So 
One of the best intro songs ever. One of the reasons why I really like this song <clears throat> is because the, the name of the song is Only Got to Judge Me. And that's what my name means. My name is Hebrew. Daniel is Hebrew and it stands for God is my judge. And when I found out the meaning of my name, it just made me love this song even more. You know what I'm saying? So, fun fact about me.